dampened my beauty blender and I don't know where I put it. You're rolling. <laughs> catch. We catch. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review of a ton of really hot new popular makeup. I have the new Alessa Edwards palette XABH. I have the resting boss face, the contour from Huda, the body glow from Huda. I just have tons of new for Solly and pure and so much more to talk about today with you guys. Yum! I'm really excited to try everything out. However, I do have to let you know that I got about halfway through filming this video last night and guess what happened? My camera memory card just like went and deleted all the footage. Like everything just shut off when I was about finished. That's why my eyelids are saint pink. I lost all the footage. So I am back at it again this morning. I'm really frustrated, but we're gonna pretend that I'm not. Anyway, so let's sing the subscribe song and then we'll jump right into this video. Hi to my channel before you leave, subscribe. Okay, let's jump right in. If you're wondering why my eyelids are staying pink, it's because I did a really great look with this palette last night, obviously using the pink shade. And if your brand is vegan, you cannot use Carmine. It is an ingredient derived from beetles, which is an animal. Therefore, if you do put Carmine in your products, it is not a, no longer a vegan product. So you do use a different product in pink and purpley shades that is um, vegan and it stains. So essentially, if you have staining, your brand is vegan, which is a good thing. I don't mind the staining. If I don't want my eyelids stained, I avoid pinks and purples the day before. I do prefer vegan products. That is that my brand is vegan as well. This is a pressed pigment palette. So first, this eye primer came with the palette in PR. So it was really nice. And it's not like the Urban Decay Clear Eye Primer. It like, do you see this? It's like made to cut the crease, mama. The cuts will be made. So I'm just gonna apply this all over my eyelid up to my eyebrow. And in the meantime, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my face. Hydration Bay, these are little blue beads from Farsali. Ty, can we get a zoom? No. It poured out everywhere. I literally just wasted probably 10 uses. These are little blue beads that I just dumped out everywhere. I'm using a different camera today as well um, because in my room makeover, beauty room makeover. If you want to know what's going on behind me, my beauty room makeover video is my last video. I dropped my camera and broke it, so I'm using a different camera today. And who's in trouble? I'm in trouble! Anyways, you place these little blue balls on your face. I got blue balls. You place the blue balls all over your face. I'm so immature. Oh my God. It's so funny to me. I hope you're laughing at home with me. You place them there and then you kind of leave them and you rub it in a few minutes later. So while I'm working on my eyes, I'm going to moisturize my skin. This video is not sponsored by Farsali, but this stuff did come in PR because I have another brand new Farsali product. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce it. H-A-L-D-I eyes. And it's supposed to help dark circles. So I'm just going to put just a little bit on and rub that in and let that be like our eye moisturizer before we apply our concealer. And the first time I used the blue balls all over my face, I uh, put a whole bunch of them everywhere. And then when it came time for me to rub it in, it didn't dry very well because it was too much of them. And then it caused my foundation to mess up. So now I know, girl, oh, girl, it doesn't take much. It really doesn't take much. No, I'm gonna rub it in. It's been a couple minutes. And the blue just dissipates. Ooh, that feels so good. No, no, ow, I just hit myself in the face. None other than the Alyssa Edwards fan. I wish I could do a real good fan pop. <laughs> Ooh, oh. had to use two hands, but it still happened, mama. Let you get some air too. We're all feeling fresh. So now we'll do the eyes. Finally, 30 minutes into the video, she starts. Can't wait. I'm gonna end up using this little Morphe M433 Brock. And what I'm gonna do is take Texas Made, Alyssa Edwards. If you don't know who she is, she's a drag queen and she's absolutely amazing. My soul sister, she's one of my top 
three favorite drag queens. So I was really excited to see this collab. But this is the hot pink shade and I first started using it kind of like a transition shade. Girl, I got the mirror too. And in the palette, like she has shades like BBCD, which is her dance studio that she started a long time ago. She has HO and it's H-O-E, but it's an acronym for House of Edwards, which is her house that she created. Um, and then she has like Brick Road. I think Dorothy was like this huge icon in her life. So, you know, under the shade yellow, she named it Brick Road. Every shade name meant something really special to her. And so I think that's really amazing in the collaboration. I'm just using this like a transition shade and I'm actually gonna disperse the pink shade out pretty high up for this look, for this look. If you give me a chance, we could make it. Laura, I wish you were my big toe so I could bang you on every piece of furniture in the house. Ew. Pinky oh. toe. What I'm gonna do next is go into the purple matte shade called Believe. I'll actually go ahead and tap into Dream It, which is a like bright blue matte. And I'm gonna focus it, just like push it into the outer corner. And I do want the blue to show up more, but when you mix blue and hot pink, a lot of times you get purple anyway. So we're gonna have to mix some purple in. Cause see, it's automatically just turning purple right when it hits the pink. Isn't that funny? I'm just pushing it into my outer corner. Dream it. Dream it, dream it. If you do have a matte blue, girl, get some brushes and follow along at home. I have an M519 brush and right here where the two colors meet, it does need to be softened. So this brush is clean. So I'm just gonna soften up the edges. And what I'm gonna do now is take a little bit of that eye primer onto the back of my hand. And I'm going to take M421 Flat Synthetic Brush. Load it up with the eye primer. And the great thing is, of course, this eye primer is really lovely to cut the crease. So how can I not do some type of cut crease for this video? So I am cutting it, honey. Got a little half cut crease action. So I'm just going to take another flat synthetic brush. And I'm going to tap into Headliner, which is a matte white shade really pretty color and i'm gonna pack this on this eye primer is really nice i definitely will be using it again with the white shade it's also nice you just have to kind of build up the color so you can get it really bold and white into that like skin color cream color doesn't really come through because i want this to be like super matte white you really just gotta take your time and gently pat it in and just pack it pack it pack it on and again this is why i don't have my foundation on because of the fallout because of how much color I'm packing onto my eye. Of course we have like this super harshness right here where it's like white, blue. So I'm going to just take this brush and just lightly dust some of the blue over the white so it's really gradient in the center. I'm gonna tap into Beast, which is simply a matte black shade and this is just a little wet and wild angled brush that I'm using here. And while this white color right here in the lid, I just need to bump some of the darker shade right there. So that way, whenever I put on lashes, there's not like this obvious gap. Okay, um, I'm going to put on lashes and do the lower lash line in just a second. But in the meantime, I would like to go ahead and start on foundation. So I'm going to be using the new Pure Love Your Selfie Foundation. And by the way, I'm going to be doing this drugstore version of this video where it's like all new drugstore products. So if you want to go ahead and comment down below, like I need a new drugstore foundation that's come out. So let me know what I need to be testing out for my drugstore version of this video. But this is the Love Your Selfie by Pure. Now the great thing is I did apply it for the very first time last night while I was filming it and I kind of loved it. Um, I didn't give it too long of a wear test, but for like the two hours I had it on, it was nice. Um, they have a hundred shades they have 100 shades like that's their shade range for this foundation i'm just gonna squirt a little bit on this card now the shade that does work for me is mn7 mn7 out of 100 shades i'm happy for the for them be so inclusive and in having so many shades so do you see how this shade really worked for me and this foundation is pretty gosh darn full coverage um, it's a little bit dewy. It's not too matte where you don't look so cakey with this on. So I do enjoy that about this foundation. And it's really creamy. Like it has a rich formula to it. So I also really, really enjoyed that about the foundation. It feels very expensive. I'd rather have 100 shades than 10 shades. So I'm happy about it. You know, it works. 
And I do find that whenever there are 100 shades, it can be really difficult to be like, oh my God, what shade is mine for anyone? Like, oh, I can see that being an issue with it. I am shade um, NC35 in MAC, and this one is close to that, but MC35 is a little bit warmer, and this is a little more neutral, but this seems to work out a little bit better than NC35 for me. So I have really been enjoying it. And I think it looks really nice, and it does have like a really full coverage feel to it. I feel it, like it could be medium to full coverage or just like super full coverage depending on how much you use of it. By the way, I did apply with my M6 brush from Morphe. You can use my code Laura Lee in store and online. Say that in every video and if I didn't say it, you guys would be like, she done bumped her head. I'm just proud of Pure for being inclusive and I hope all brands are inclusive. This is the Huda Beauty Concealer. It's one of my favorites, the Overachiever Concealer. I'm using Ty, is it Nugget? N-O-U-G-A-T? Is that Nugget? Look up how to pronounce that. Yeah, we're both confused here. That's not a real word. It is a real word, I think. Must not be a word I say. I'm trying to pronounce the shade of this. Is it nougat? 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 Nougat. Well, what is a nougat? Nougat is a candy made from sugar, or honey, nuts, and egg whites. A box of nougat. I've never had one of those before, so that's why I didn't know what it is. And if you're wondering why I don't like apply a heavy amount of this concealer, watch as I blend. A little goes a long way, mama. No need to get crazy with it. Um, I do like this concealer, and I'm just using this red Morphe sponge. It's damp to blend it out. I've been getting back into sponges a lot lately. The problem is I really hate getting up to dampen them, and I hope you guys are with me on that journey because it's really annoying. Before I set that, I do want to go ahead and cream contour my face because I have the new, uh, these are called Tantor from Huda. Uh -huh. I have a lot of new Huda stuff. She's been dropping makeup like there's just dropping it like it's hot mama, which I'm all here for, you know? So I'm using the shade light. That's the shade that worked for me. My first impression of these was last night. So I do have a little bit of insight on these for you guys. It's a little pot of cream contour that looks like this. So I am going to use a E55 brush and I'm gonna get some on it. Now, something I did learn last night is just a little bit of this goes like an extremely long way. So I haven't set my concealer yet because I don't want the two to mix together. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and hit the jaw just a little bit. All right, here, right here, down the nose. And I'm gonna go ahead and get that forehead. And you can be just a little bit more liberal with this product because I'm telling you, it blends out like a dream. And we'll go ahead and hit the neck. Like, let's get wild. I just hit my earring with it. I'm contouring my hoop. So I'm gonna go back to my sponge here and I'm gonna just use the side of it and I'm gonna start to blend this out. Let me get my mirror so I can actually see what's happening. And it just blends out so well. It's just like honestly so easy to use because it's like a few pats and girl you're done even the nose you can just literally tap it oh you can't even see my nose tap it and it just like melts to set my under eye I'm gonna take a little bit of the Laura Mercier setting powder and I'm going to go ahead and set the under eye with that and then, so I don't really have a new bronzer, but I do have a new limited edition product from Benefit. They have the Hula Bronzer, which is one of my absolute favorites in this mega big size. And that's really exciting. So if you do love Hula, like you might want to get this. Um, and I do always set my cream contour no matter what. Like I always set it, set it, set it because cream tends to move around a little bit. I'm gonna take an M530 brush. And girl, we're just gonna set everything, yes. Love the way the face makeup looks. This is what I was talking about with the foundation. Like the foundation looks really good. So for highlighter, I am going to be using the new Lunar Beauty Prism powders things. And ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna take a little pencil brush and go ahead and pop this to my inner corner. And then I'll go ahead and hit the brow bone with it. Okay, also I got the new Matte Velvet Skin from Makeup Forever. These are actually foundation powder, so I kinda wanna do eventually. God bless you. 
May God have mercy. So these are their new like foundation powders and they're really, really velvety. Um, and I kind of love them so much. So I kind of want to do like a video. Give me him. Give me the kitty. I kind of want to do a video of all foundation powder only. Angel. An angel. Look at this little man. Look at this little man. This is Boo. This is my Boo. This is my three-legged kitty if you didn't know. He kind of has a third leg, but. He's just, he just missing a little bit over here. Yes, he is. Boo is kind of a crazy cat. He like, he has a very different personality. All of my cats do though. Oh, it's honestly so nice. This powder is so nice. This one, this powder is like encouraging me and making me want to do a look with just like powder foundation. What? Hello? Hello? Wow, we are really making progress in this video. So I already put a little bit of mascara on my eyes. Lily lashes. I love my little lashes. I love them. I think these are like the dramatic versions of Miami's. So you can use code Lardly if you do. Oh my God, I forgot to put the black on my eye right here. <laughs> and today I'm gonna go to the grocery store with this makeup. Might go see a movie. Might get crazy. Yeah. I love a big lash. And sometimes I look at myself and I'm like, Lord, the lash is too much. Take the lash off. Take a breather. I can't. I'm addicted. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to mix together Believe and Dream It. Believe, Dream It. And I'm going to go ahead and buff that pretty close to the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of Texas Made, which is our hot pink matte shade that we went in with first. And I'm gonna blend that hot pink shade just a little bit lower. Urban Decay came out with these brand new 24-7, uh, they're like sparkly eyeliners and they're all bright colors, which is really cool. So I think I'm just gonna take this purple one called Viper. I'm gonna pop it into the waterline. I'm gonna take a little bit of this Grandiose from Lancome. This is a mascara, obviously. You're like, wow, I didn't know that. Wow, thank you. Um, I'm gonna put this on the lower lashes. I'm gonna take this Strip Down Lip Liner from MAC. I'm using this Chara, I think that's how you pronounce it, lipstick from Illamasqua. Um, this is one of their newer shades. Also, this is a brand that doesn't get talked about a whole lot on YouTube, so I really like Illamasqua. And I really like this new shade. Okay, we're not done yet, girl. We still got the rest in Boss Face, and we're about to spritz this all over my face. This is the new setting spray from Huda, and what's so funny is they did use Drag Queens to in the campaign for this because they used to set their makeup with hairspray. But the crazy thing is I was like, so did I. I always set, me and my sister always set our faces with hairspray, always. And I did it for years and years and years. So I was like, okay, I'm right there with you. This is my first time using it. Still got the label. Okay. So we're gonna give it a spritz. Ooh, okay. Ooh, it does smell. It smells really strong. Okay, here we go. extra hold like a hairspray can how cute is that so i can already feel it like kind of drying down and i can feel my wrinkle is like kind of tight it almost feels like hairspray so i do feel like this is going to like the makeup in which does make me happy because that's what i want i want my makeup to last for a long time especially whenever i put a whole lot on the smell to it is very strong so if you're one of those people who are like i don't like smells in makeup or setting sprays that I will warn you of. I personally don't mind the smell. It says it's waterproof setting spray as well. Okay, so with that being said, we have one more thing to try out and then we are all finished. So Huda came out with these body highlighters and um, I tried Luna first and it was way too light and Aurora was too dark. So the perfect one is Aphrodite for me. Like this is my shade, which is the middle one. So, ooh. I got a little little boo-boo of it on my arm. Here's the brush that came with it. And it's like it puts like this filter on your skin. Seriously, a body filter. I do plan on using this more so on my legs, wherever I'm at by the beach. Like 
Um, the one piece of advice I will tell you before using this, because it is a really rich, heavily pigmented formula to use a heavy moisturizer beforehand, or you can even mix a little bit of drips of oil in it if you wanted to, but I wouldn't recommend putting it over dry, patchy skin. I will say these are warm tone. So they have like, well, at least this one, it has the medium shade one does have a warm undertone to it, which does kind of give me like a tan. Can you tell? I do like it a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and do my other arm. And what I did is I sprayed a little bit of my better vitamin nectar glow water, which is like this really nice moisturizing spray. I rubbed it in and then I just put like a little dot of this. Little doop. And like that little dot covered my whole arm. So that bottle will last you probably years. Things that I found in the place that I've been. I'm going to Cabo in a couple of days. Okay, here we go. Look at the glow, mama. So it's a really nice product. I do like it. And yeah, that is it. So that is it for this look. Thank you guys so much for being here watching. Honest to God, there is not one product that I hated. There are warning signs on how to use products such as the Farsali beads and the setting spray has some scent to it. And then there are, I would say, instruction on the filter, makeup. Um, I, so if I had to pick my favorite products out of today, it would be the Velvet Powder Contour from Huda, as well as the foundation. Thank you guys for being here and watching. I will see you guys in my next video. And don't forget to comment down below what drugstore product you want me to use next. I love you guys. 